Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a simple arrangement using some materials that I've actually gathered from my garden, which are basically going to be tulips. Uh, I've got some really nice two tone tulips that we've got, and I've also got some absolutely beautiful lilac. Uh, as well. So that's going to be our flowers that we're going to use. But the container that I want to use is this, which is really just our clothes peg basket. Now you're probably thinking, why? Well, I was uh, doing things in the house and I suddenly realised that not everyone has access to lots of different containers and different things. So really, we should look at making it more accessible for people to be able to make an arrangement or put something together. And I spotted this and I thought, actually, that's quite a nice little container. OK, it's got the handle, but we don't need to, to leave that at the front. We could keep that to the back. And uh, yeah, the pegs are not needed. Um, so how to use this? Well, I could line this with plastic and we could use foam. But what I want to use is actually just a couple of jam jars. So just a couple of jars that you might use for pickling. And um, the first thing I need to do then is put water into these. So yeah, I think it's, it's all one thing going to a shop and seeing lots of nice vases and nice containers but it's not necessarily easy to know what to do with them. And actually, we've got such a source of stuff in our own homes that it seems a bit mad. So to be able to think of doing something with something we've got makes more sense. So I did think, well, we don't need the clothes pegs, but if you wanted, you could actually create a little bit of a detail with the clothes pegs, and you could work your way right round um, to create a little bit more height. But to be honest, I quite like the height of this. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use the clothes pegs back into the container. Really, instead of using... These are a little bit high, so I might have wanted to use a little bit of moss or a little bit of something just to hide the edge of that. Um, but actually, just putting the clothes pegs back in will do the job as well. And it doesn't matter really how they're done. It can be quite random. Not the one in the water though, we don't need that. And at the end of the day, the clothes pegs are actually a natural material as well. So I'm just going to stack them up. And to be honest, you could actually, you can do lots of things with clothes pegs. You could connect them, you could make um, different shapes you could make that into a detail in itself. It's up to you. You've got lots of potential, but really I just want to use them like this, where we're going to hide the edge of the, the jars by adding them in. So we've got our base, we've got our cute little basket, we've got our water source, and actually having the two vases works quite well because that's giving us a little bit of support within the arrangement as well. So all we need now is the flowers. So I have an old lilac tree uh, outside here and um, it's nice. And um, lilac can be expensive. To buy it, it's expensive. So if you have got it in the garden, then I think why not cut some and enjoy it? Because you would actually pay quite a lot of money to have it um, as a bought material. And the great thing is, if you do have the space and you have a lilac tree, you're going to get this every year, which is amazing. Lilac can be a little bit funny uh, or a little bit temperamental, so it is worth cutting it in the morning before the sun comes up or before it gets hot uh, and let it have a really good drink. So we call that conditioning your flowers. And it, conditioning really just means that you're going to let them have a good drink in cold water. You'll have taken off any leaves that will be underneath the water level and you'll just let them have a really good drink. There's nothing more to it than that. When you are conditioning, you don't want to cut on a node. You want to cut a nice 
clean cut on an angle. That increases the surface area so that your flowers can get a good drink. Uh, also nice and clean because you don't want bacteria to really evolve in your water. And then really just the actual conditioning is really that they just get a good opportunity to hydrate. So this is our little lilac base. Um, and this is actually going to give us a bit of a framework as well for putting in our tulips. So I really only want to use the one type which is this one. Um, I think these are just beautiful. Now last autumn I went and bought a load of bulbs and I put them into the garden and uh, I've been kind of avidly watching to see what they were going to do, when they were going to come up and uh, now they're up and they're looking great. Um, and you kind of forget what you planted. So it's a bit of a, a nice surprise to yourself to actually see what turns up. So we can even use like these leaves, like I cut the stem there, it gives me a leaf on a stem that I can use within there. If you've got any wee bits that are showing a little bit of damage, that's okay. You know, plant material is basically real, real flowers in the real world. They're not all perfect. So it's not a problem to show a little bit of a damaged leaf or a damaged stem. It's not the end of the world. Now I think what works well with this is that the actual tulip flower has basically a lighter colour on the tip. So that makes it tie in with our container um, rather than just using different colours like I have this one as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, we might put this in as well. Because let's face it, more is more, as they say. But I am conscious that there's not a huge amount of room in here. And I don't really want it all just to feel squished in. Um, that would be a shame. But this is really a, just a simple arrangement that you can do at home. And um, I think people don't realise the opportunity that flowers can bring if you start to do flowers regularly for yourself. So it's one thing talking about commercial floristry, but there's a really missed opportunity for people to bring flowers into their own lives. and. Uh, to get creative, but also it's very therapeutic. It's very enjoyable. You can actually do it with your friends. You can create a little group, get together and make little arrangements. There's lots of inspiration out there on places like uh, Pinterest. Um, you really don't need to be clever or fancy. You can just use materials and flowers that you can find uh, easily and just get creative. So I do recommend getting hands on. If you've never made an arrangement, make this your weekend, give it a go, and you will really enjoy it. You don't need to rush. I tend to put things together kind of quickly because I'm conscious that we're doing a video and you don't want to watch me for half an hour, but take your time, enjoy it. It's not necessarily about where you end up. It's about the actual doing it. And I'm just making sure that all these materials are down into the water. Um, we don't want to have pieces that are um, missing the water or not gonna get any more of a drink. Uh, I do think I want a little piece of lilac in there. And that's it. It's really as simple as that. Um, we can make it more complicated if we want. Or 
we can keep it quite simple. What you could do if you wanted was you could add a little clothes peg in or bring in a little detail just to make you look twice. But actually, I think I prefer it without. But you can see, you could put in like a little detail like this. But I think it's actually nicer just left natural. And if we want to do we detail, we can have them here and you just get a glimpse of them there. So that was today's video using materials that are easily found in your own home. And just to show that it's, it's straightforward to make a design. Don't be scared, just have a go. So if you've not subscribed, click here to subscribe. We have new videos every week and we would love you to join us to get some more ideas. So take care, stay safe, and we hope to see you soon.